Hello and welcome to the Maths 2 component of the online BSc program on data science and programming. This video is a very short video on differentiability for multivariable functions. So, we have already studied the notion of uh, differentiability for one variable functions. So, let us recall first what that was. So, a function f uh, defined on an open interval around a is said to be differentiable if f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h exists. Of course, this should happen at a. So, this should be f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h exists and if this happens uh, at all h uh, at all x then <coughs> it will be defined on uh, meaning it will be differentiable on uh, all points uh, where it is uh, defined meaning on its domain. Okay. So, this is the definition f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h limit h tends to 0 exists. So, once that happens uh, we define the derivative function. So, f prime x was uh, limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Of course, we have seen this uh, uh, in great detail in one variable calculus. We have also used the same idea in uh, computing partial and uh, directional derivatives. So, this is something familiar. Uh, so, the domain of this function is those points where it is differentiable and uh, a fact that we uh, studied was that if it is differentiable and it is continuous at if it is differentiable at a, it is continuous at a. So, I want to rewrite this uh, this part here, this limit in a slightly different way. So, um, may, may, okay, maybe I will do that on the next slide. Let us first uh, talk about the notion of differentiability and what it means for tangents and the best linear approximation. This, these were all things that went hand in hand and uh, the punchline was that if f is differentiable at a, then that is the same as the tangent line to f at a exists and uh, that is the same as saying that the best linear approximation to f at a exists and not surprisingly the algebra here is the same. So, the tangent line the equation uh, of the tangent line was y is equal to uh, f of a plus f prime at a times x minus a and then this expression was exactly the expression that if we think of it as a function of x then this is the best linear approximation of uh, f close to the point a. So, near a this uh, it is defined by this formula f of a plus f prime a times x minus a and what we know is that uh, close to a f of x is very close to the linear its linear approximation. So, when x is near a right and we can rewrite uh, the the differentiability definition in terms of this formula here and that's what i really want to emphasize so remember that f prime a is a uh, limit h tends to a uh, f of uh, a plus h minus f of a divided by h so i can rewrite this in the following way i can take my f prime a on the other side and i can say that limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a minus f prime a times h divided by h is equal to 0 right because uh, this you can break this limit into two parts. So, the first part is exactly what we have written here and the second part when I divide by h gives you f prime a. So, there are there is so if I bring those together you get exactly this limit. So, uh, the point I want to make here is notice how what, what what expression you have here this expression here what this expression. So, if I rewrite this it is uh, f of a plus h minus and I will write this in bracket f of a plus f prime a times h divided by h. So, this limit is 0 and uh, this thing in the bracket here is exactly the uh, best linear approximation of the function close to that point a right. So, if you have so, I have taken a plus h here. So, if you put x is a plus h then h will be x minus a and that is exactly when you get this right. So, this thing here f of a plus f prime a times h, h is the best linear approximation of the function close to the point a. So, uh, when we start talking about differentiability in 
several variables. Uh, this is exactly the kind of thing that we want to imitate. We want to get this uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, trichotomy that is differentiability is the same as the existence of the tangent hyperplane is the same as the best linear approximation exists. And then if that happens we, we expect that when we take the difference between the best linear approximation and the function values uh, that has some uh, something to do with the magnitude of h. Of course, now when we go to higher dimensions h itself is going to change because it will be a vector. So, we have to take that into account. So, let us uh, define uh, what is differentiability for scalar valued multivariable functions. So, if a f is a scalar valued multivariable function defined in the domain d in R n containing an open ball around a point a tilde, well then f is differentiable at a tilde if this thing happens and, and uh, pay careful attention limit as h tilde tends to 0. What is h tilde? h tilde is a is a, uh, instead of h now you have a vector. So, you have h 1 h 2 h n. So, h 1 h 2 h n tends to 0 and what is 0 here? 0 here means a 0 vector f of a tilde plus h tilde minus f of a tilde minus h tilde dot with gradient of f at a tilde divided by the norm of h. So, now we cannot divide by h because uh, if you divide by h and there should be a h tilde here. If we divide by h then uh, it, that does not make sense right you have to divide by a number and h tilde is a vector. So, you have to divide by its length because the length is a measure of how far it is from uh, 0. In the earlier case you could divide by h because h itself is a measure of how far it is from 0 because it is a number. So, here you have to divide by length or norm of h tilde and if this thing is 0 then we say it is differentiable and notice what, what this, this uh, thing on the right in the numerator is. So, the right part of the numerator is uh, so I will write that down over here. So, f of a tilde plus h tilde minus f of a tilde plus h tilde dot with gradient f at a tilde right. So, this this expression here is exactly the expression that we had for the uh, tangent hyperplane or the best linear approximation. So, I will just remind you that was z is equal to f of a tilde plus um, gradient of f at a tilde dot with x tilde minus a tilde right. This was the uh, equation for the tangent hyperplane if it existed of course and that is exactly what is coming here. So, this is exactly in accordance with the one variable definition except that here uh, since it involves vectors it looks like a dot product and so on. So, and then in the denominator you have a norm instead of the uh, value of h. So, let us uh, expand this out for two variables and see what we get. So, so the same definition for two variables. So, for two variables what is this saying? So, if I write h as h 1 comma h 2 what it is saying is if you have f of uh, a comma b plus h 1 comma h 2 minus f of a comma b minus h 1 times uh, f x at a comma b minus h 2 times f y at a comma b this whole thing divided by root of h 1 squared plus h 2 squared this limit as h 1 comma h 2 tends to 0 0 should be 0 right that is exactly what this definition is saying ok. So, just to expand it out and you can see that the right hand thing what is here is exactly the uh, in accordance with the tangent equation the equation of the tangent plane. You can do this for three variables I will encourage you to do, the, do it so that you have a feeling of what is happening. And this checking is a little harder for, uh, unlike the checking for uh, the one variable case because here it is a genuine two variable limit. So, I really have to know what happens as h 1 h 2 tends to 0 0 and uh, as we know to do this we have to see it from all possible along all possible curves as they tend to 0 0. So, this is this is the definition not surprisingly once uh, it is differentiable we have an immediate connection with the tangents and the best linear approximation because uh, that is what is coming in the expression. 
So, if f is differentiable at a tilde that is exactly the same as saying that the tangent hyperplane to f at a tilde exists which is exactly the same as saying that the best linear approximation to f at a tilde exists and that indeed uh, is the same as saying that it is differentiable at a tilde. So, this is a uh, so the, the picture that we had for the one variable calculus case exactly matches uh, what we have in the multivariable calculus case uh, with this definition. So, checking that this limit exists is, is somewhat hard as, as I said on the previous slide and uh, so as, as we have consistently done throughout throughout the course uh, whenever I, I wanted to talk about the tangent hyperplane etcetera the hypothesis that we made was a bit different we took a stronger hypothesis. So, I had this hypothesis that the partial derivatives of uh, the function uh, exist and are continuous in a ball around a tilde. So, the fact is that if this happens then f is differentiable at a tilde and that is why I kept making that hypothesis right I because I did not want to uh, define what is differentiability until the very end. Uh, but I want you in this video to know what is differentiability because you may later see you may come across a situation where uh, it is written uh, in the text that f is differentiable for a multivariable function and you may wonder what that means. So, what it means is that uh, that limit exists and uh, you really should not bother too much about that until unless you really want to get into the math behind that. What you should remember is that that is the same as saying that the best linear approximation exists and we know a formula for it and that the tangent hyperplane exists and we know a formula for it and in particular that will mean that the uh, directional derivatives are all given by dot products of the unit vector corresponding unit vector with, with the uh, gradient vector right that that is really the main thing you should remember right fine. Uh, so, once it is differentiable it is continuous the proof is actually exactly analogous as the one in the one variable case, but since it involves limits of uh, in several variables I am I'm not uh, even giving an idea about that, but those of you who feel uh, you want to strengthen your mathematical muscles should uh, go about trying it. And uh, finally, I will comment that uh, when you come to a situation where, uh, where you want to actually use this uh, as I said it will often happen often not always, but often happen that the partial derivatives maybe I will write that down the partial derivatives. So, uh, the partial derivatives of uh, f with respect to all the variables at a tilde not at a tilde, but at x tilde. Uh, so, this is continuous in a ball around a tilde. So, often this is easier to check than differentiability. So, although this is a stronger hypothesis this is what you should try and check first if this does not fail uh, sorry if it does not work or if it fails then you should try to check for differentiability. And that is why all the statements that we have made before were with this hypothesis because this hypothesis implies that f is differentiable and once it is differentiable that is the same as saying tangent hyperplanes exist best linear approximations exist and so on. Okay. So, just to summarize this video is about what it means for a function to be differentiable as I said you should keep in mind that a function being differentiable at a point means that the tangent hyperplane at that point exists equivalently that the best linear approximation exists which means you have a linear function whose expression is given by the same formula as was uh, in the definition of the, the equation of the tangent plane with that same expression right. That is what should come to your mind when uh, you see a statement that f is differentiable at a tilde and um, also differentiability at a tilde will automatically tell you that the uh, directional derivatives can be written as dot products of the gradient vector with uh, the unit vector in that direction. Thank you.